Whoa, look at all these fun characters. We're the infamous dog burglars, the wet nose bandits. We were getting ready to sneak into that big house over the holidays. When we were attacked from the shadows by something merciless. Fearing for Elias, we all ran right into Officer Undyne's warm, loving arms. And she suplexed us all into the snow with our tails hanging in the air. Now we're in jail. At least we're alive. Plus, that nice ghost keeps giving us incorporeally low calorie treats. Then we all howl holiday songs together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make dog marriage. Not dog jail. <laughs> you skimmed the news article about Undyne. New police chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. There's no need to read anymore. Oh no, I accidentally ended up as a police officer. Oh no, I can't quit because my cousins are relying on me. Oh, hey, don't do anything illegal, please. You are adorable. Oh, sorry, did I intimidate you too much? Oh, he is so... You are too adorable, I can't handle it. Oh, it's okay to do a little crime sometimes. What? Why are you saying it? Like, if you eat candy off the floor, even after five seconds, I won't arrest you. That's not a crime! Well, cared for flowers. Does he have anything else to say? Did I answer? No, 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 okay. It was, it was repeating, it was repeating. Nothing new, nothing new. Eh, nothing new, nothing new. Eh, nothing new. Okay, there we go. Ah, I, I didn't talk to Undyne. <laughs> hey, get out of the road. What road? Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in a library? More are appearing? People might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? Haha, <laughs> dark world! <laughs> seriously! <laughs> uh oh. That's what that key was there for? Uh, uh. Hey, wait! Nyah! Not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady, is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her, uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. You got a heart-shaped box of candies that says get well soon. It has to your bike, hastily scrawled underneath the get well soon. Look, get well soon's all the store had. Open it? and I'll arrest you. Look, I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me, I gotta go. You got the previously destroyed box of candy with a note on it. Hmm. Jail. Oh my goodness, I remember seeing that key and thinking, hmm, it's interesting that that key is there, but <laughs> the fact that it was there because of the gag of her, of her laughing so hard that it <laughs> flew into the thing and unlocked the jail cell. I love it. Can I look at this? Info. Box of heart candy is not yours. Will that stop you? Oh no, no, wait. If I click use and I accidentally use the box, I'll feel terrible. I don't want to use it. I'm not, uh, no, I'm going to give it to her. Huh? Chris, do you have something for me? Poor chocolate evil! Give her the chocolate! I don't want to be evil. H huh, Chris, what is that you're giving me? A, a box of heart shaped the ch ch chocolates? Whoa, 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 no! I, I can't accept that from you! What is from the police? You mean ch she's giving me this? Um, um, give all soon gift to my bike? A and, um, there's a note on this that says. Open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I... T tell her I, uh, appreciate it. C Chris, d did you need something? Oh, no, no, I don't need anything. Yeah, see you tomorrow. 
Um, there's no school. Okay, there's no school tomorrow. Okay, cool. Well, then you won't see me. All right, we're out of here. Okay, let's go. Went to the hospital. Talk to her. Let's see. Where do I want to go now? Go to the diner. Whoa, go in there if you want, but I'm staying here. Caddy's working here today. She hates me. So what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I looked cool. Jockington fans. They're crazy, man. Oh, she's a Jockington fan. Caddy's my friend, and I support my friends through thick and thin. Long and short, cold and hot. Whatever shape the world takes, I'll be there. <laughs> That's one cool snake. OMG, my little sis is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy's the best, Caddy's the best. She curses me every day, glares because I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Oh, that's her, that's her sister over there to the left. The emo looking one. OMG, Chrissy, you're not going to believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And like that green alligator evil neighbor girl, like invaded and started like playing my song with me. OMG, like it was so fun. <laughs> Wait, isn't she like my enemy? I don't know if you notice, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. This guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. Caddy's family is always asking when her next shift is. So they can come in and cheer her on. Never seen anything like it. But it's kind of nice, isn't it? It's adorable. That's so cute. Woo, Caddy! You go, girl! <laughs> Show those customers who's boss, little lady. Kick their tush! Woo! Beat them down! You got this! You know what? I changed my mind. This is incredibly embarrassing. I would hate this. Our little Caddy, she's doing us proud. Working hard, supporting us. Serving us pickles, terrifying us with their shape. Trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. <laughs> Poor Caddy, it's... Oh, man. Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Your family is weird because they care. Then they can care. Somewhere else. What? Uh, Noelle. Golden hair, starry eyes. She is the light, laughing in the night. Taught her protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately she slips into the darkness. Chris, you walk among the dark. Protect her from Susie. <laughs> I thought it was just going to end with protect her, not from Susie. I'm talking about Susie. What? Uh, Jockington? Pure boy, heart of gold, curiosity high, intelligence low. Fetch his frisbees, dress him up, carry in a bag, precious boy. Don't know why. A uh, family. Dad, mom, sister, ukulele, football game, soap opera, yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums. Stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied occult together. Incantation for silence? Find it. Tell me. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought this was the post office. But by the time I realized I had already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Dude, just leave. Just leave or order something small.
it's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Ugh. Let's see. What is this? There's some kind of scratching and hissing from inside. Oh, okay. My brother's too old to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me into shape. Knock, knock, knock. What, what, what? If you're looking for Blookie, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. Uh. You? Me? 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 What have I got to say to you? Nothing! Like I'd even recognize a pathetic face like that! By the way, say hi to your dad for me! Wait, wait! Don't do that! He doesn't know I- Nothing! Let's say I'm looking for someone else. Someone else? Fine, fine, fine! Wanna talk to someone else? Here! Oh, my! Someone's here to see me? It's you again, is it, darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? Oh, this is Metaton. Haha, <laughs> as if someone could be a fan of a nobody like me. Wait, is this Metaton? Well, if you are a fan, haha, <laughs> could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. Oh, that was that was Metaton, right? Ribbit, ribbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? I wanted to buy flowers, but the store is closed. The door round back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. Closed. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Listen up, see that weird circle on the beach? Yesterday I waited on it, and something weird came out. Of course it's not yesterday anymore, so too bad! So if I stand here, will something- Okay, it was only for that, okay. I think that happens if you stand on it something weird comes out I think that happens in chapter one but this isn't chapter one so what can you do it's an ornate gate it appears to be locked all right go this way oh no no wait this is home I'm not ready to go home yet um let's see uh Hey, what's up? Uh... Brother? What are you talking about? I don't have a brother. Haha, <laughs> just messing with ya. I totally do. Though, to be honest, I never mentioned him to you, did I? Not gonna lie, a little weird you asked. I'd never let my brother hang out with a stranger. Especially not alone or in my house. That's way too irresponsible. Try to have some self-awareness, okay? Meanwhile, I'll ask what his schedule is. <laughs> hey, you the boss around here? Me? I'm just a janitor. Then, where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me? Then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You wanna buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Am I allowed to do that? Can I like get a basket? You can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. You'll never be able to buy something in this state. Well then. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See? Jerky is candy and uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a leg... Le leg? 
Legum. Legum? Leg I don't remember. Peanuts? Jerky? That stuff? It's used half off. What is it? Trash. <laughs> Grapes, melons, oranges, and the scent of fresh pineapples. It looks like a normal basket of fruit, but when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. Loose eggs, one dollar. It's too much responsibility for an egg. Loose eggs? One dollar? <clears throat> what? You mean to tell me it's one dollar for one egg? Okay. Yeah, I'm that sicko that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? What? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> what do you mean, sicko? You're not a sicko for doing it. That's what you should do. Sometimes the hoofed girl comes here opens the freezer door, then stands in front of it, lost in thought. Guess she really likes the cold or waffles. There's nothing wrong with looking through things to find the best expiration date, especially when it's milk. That's normal. You kids came out of the library, didn't you? Studying, how wonderful. Personally, I hate libraries, but... But what? Libraries are outdated. We have things like newspapers now. You could argue that newspapers are outdated because we have things like the internet now. <laughs> Although in this universe, I think they said the internet was out, so... Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly, a trussle, glowing, growing further away. Hmm. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons come from? Don't think about it too much. humans are w w w wait a minute if humans are made of wait no no don't think about it too much knock 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 hmm that knocking it's amateur you've still got a long way to go knock 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 hmm that no okay it's, I still got a long way to go okay I'll get better I'll get better Knock, knock, knock. Hey, uh, Chris, what are you doing? We're going into your house, right? Uh, not yet. <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear that? That a guy at the pizza place? Uh, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend? What was her name? Like, uh, uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. Pizza Rena? Huh? <laughs> anyway, what did you like want to talk? Chrissy? Like, guess what? Today, I like went to the beach to play and. Ugh. And. Like, guess who's already there? That copycat. Playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my goodness. Cat on the beach, Grody. Did she like get lost looking for the litter box? So, like. I try to, like, play the same song, too. To, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, uh, get this, playing the whole song together. Like, oh my goodness, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Ugh, I can't stand her. OMG, it's like so sweet you have a nasty, dirty little friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway, so like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign. This is like no plus ones because, like, okay? 
Hey Chris, this free milk is amazing. Susie, you really gotta stop just drinking and eating anything and everything. It just magically refreshes itself overnight. Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses? Like, privacy much? Ugh, living with Ezzy made you weird. I'm the weird- you know what? Yes, I'm the weird one. I'm the weird one. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, where's the school? Oh, I haven't gone to the pizza place. Who to talk to first? Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend. Azriel, you've got to tell Azriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What she look like? Ah, uh, little buddy, how do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she talks. Oh, little buddy, she must be stacked. Lie and say you want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it is uncouth, but look, look at this. It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Her camera is not of the highest caliber. But to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Wow, my coworker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer, would you like a blue soft syrup? The pizza sauce is boiling red, burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ah, I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fist. Is that pizza sauce on his nose? Double ice pizza, great. Ice wolf, big customer. Ice wolf, maybe only customer. I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. You're not even on a road, dude. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Oh no. Oh, that's a, that is a dang shame. That is a... Oh boy. I don't remember where the school is. I truly, truly... Oh, it's this... What, what the heck? Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. Missed a spot. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. And sometimes it's bad to get your freak out. Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rats of the city. You want to get into politics, huh? You better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. Look at me now. I don't even work here. <laughs> what the heck? That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. Put me in, coach! Put me in! Why are you here? Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor. She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. Okay, let's see. I'm not Jerry. I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, Terry, say it again. 
Say you don't have to go to the bathroom again. What the? Oh, Terry, say it again. Say you don't have to go to the bathroom. Are these your fans? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what is... Jerson, renowned historian, Arthur, and teacher. Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? Jerson. It's been a few years since my father passed on. Fans of his famous book series, we still received condolences from until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. And difficult for Miss Alphys as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. Uh, Ezreal. Ah, Chris, your brother, he's a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion. I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had... Drop the lizard in the pit of jump high. Nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in a vid video's game. He also confessed to various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. So, uh, this is your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. <laughs> Susie's down for anything. Uh. You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? Haha. <laughs> you got a beak and wings like a chicken. No, just... I ain't afraid, only kids believe in that stuff. But, but, Chris, you gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Susie, didn't see you there! Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh, sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first. Ah! Aw. Thanks for defending me, Susie. You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? Well, you don't gotta talk about it. It's locked. I like the fact that Susie defended Chris. I, I love that so much. Susie's a good friend. Here we go. This is the school. Goodness. Okay. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, right. This leads to that world. Oh, yeah. You're here now. I completely forgot. So, this is your castle town. Why are we allowed to go into school after hours? Like, they don't lock the doors? It's not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I am going to be your wacky roommate now. Wacky roommate? Whose room is she going to be in? Give her her own room. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to. But you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? Oh, okay. Wait, how do I save? Uh. Then where's the. Oh, there is a lot of people I want to talk to. You touched the light. You thought about how you can't go back to the cyber world anymore. You considered this carefully. Oh. Crap. Oh, man. I feel like there's stuff I didn't do that I should have did. I don't think I recruited everybody I could have recruited. Did I? 
Oh man, whatever. I'm glad that Rouse said that though. Rouse was like, hey, why, there's a lot of people to talk to. Why don't you save? Because honestly, I didn't realize how much time was going to pass. Like all I'm doing is literally just talking to everybody and so much time is passing. So the fact that Rouse is like, look, there's a lot of people to talk to. Save the game and take your time. You don't have to do it all at once. Just, you know, just relax. Thank you, Rouse. Thank you for saying that. You are best fluffy boy.